Mmm. <sighs> it's a good day when you got a bag of organic figs. So we're going to talk about some some inequality, inequality in finance and inequality also in in uh, the law. I right? see the law like if you if if most people break the law, you go to jail, right? But not the bankers, right? So I'm one of the few people on on the internet and uh, certainly in mainstream media that talks about the corruption in the banking industry and the traders, the traders that that trade money back and forth and get caught and get away with it, right? And then a guy, you know, steals, tries to steal, you know, steals a sandwich from a store and sits in jail for a long time, right? Stuff like that. So the EU, uh, you know, I think it's the most important thing. I, I think we can we could talk about... I mean, social issues, I know people are all, I, I did a, v- a video yesterday with uh, Chelsea Manning, and people were more concerned with the fact that a dude decided to cut off his ball set and, and his, you know, his rack and balls and install a vagina as if that really matters to me. Like, I give a shit. Well, what do I care? What do I care if you decide to say, to call yourself a lady or call yourself a man? I don't care. I, it doesn't affect anything it doesn't affect my bag of figs, all right? So, but it seems that people, you know, and then they miss the point that the guy's, the guy, the girl, whatever, is a hero for releasing information. But uh, but then again, so there's a hero who decides to chop off his ball set and is forever condemned for doing that. <laughs> I I mean, I, there's a, there is a form of self-hate in there, right? And uh, But that's that's up to the uh, to the slicer, the person that, you know, that decides to you know do the do the removal right the ball removal right but but here's here's the bigger deal right the the real the real slime in this world is not someone who 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 takes a social issue a a a decides to do what they will with their own life force right I believe in you're allowed to you should be allowed to do that right but what about stealing what about ripping people off right so the EU has fined banks 1.2 billion dollars over forex trading right they're, they're currency traders uh, they got busted colluding with each other communicating back and forth right trading painting the tape right F- flipping stock back and forth so let's take a look at this and um we'll, we'll see what happens you, you know the outcome already that the, the consequences are are nil all right so citigroup was hit the hardest as eu finds banks 1.2 billion over fx trading forex trading right um, Citigroup, Royal Bank of Scotland, and uh, J.P. Morgan Chase are among five banks that agreed to pay Euro uh, European Union fines totaling 1.2 billion dollars for colluding on foreign exchange trading strategies. Right? That's illegal. It's illegal to to paint the tape, trade back and forth, or get out of the way so your partner can make money. It's technically illegal. Right? It's supposed to be a, a, a an open market. Citigroup was hit the hardest, uh, three, uh, 310 uh, million euro, to, and so on, right? So they all, got pretty, they, they all got hit pretty hard. Citigroup got hit the hardest, RSBC, J.P. Morgan Chase, Barclays, and Moofjig. <laughs> so, so, um, so there you go. I mean, HSBC was also involved, too. They, they skated, and I'll tell you why they skated, because they were, the, they were the, the whistleblower. So... Traders ran two cartels. This is what they were doing. Traders ran two cartels online, on, on online chat rooms, swiping sensitive information and trading plans that allowed them to make informed decisions to buy or sell currencies, the regulator said. Many of them knew each other. Calling uh, one chat room on the Bloomberg terminal, Essex Express and, and the Jimmy, because of the traders, because all of the traders but one, uh, commute on a train from uh, from Essex to London. Others' rooms were three <laughs> three way banana split and semi grumpy old men. Foreign exchange spot trader activities are one of the largest markets in the world, worth billions of dollars. EU competition commissioner. <laughs> they have a competition commissioner. Uh, said these cartel decisions send a clear message that the commission will not tolerate 
uh, collusive behavior in any sector of the market. Just think of the numbers for a second. I want you to contemplate the numbers, right? One billion dollars. They were fined. This this scam was running for over five years, from 2013 all the way to 2017, right? It was it was a three year running scam, right? And they 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 got fined one billion dollars. Now look at the the size of the market, the size of the forex market. Sometimes five trillion dollars a day. It's the largest market in in the largest financial market in existence. Five trillion dollars a day trade hands. Right. Right. Nearly eighty percent of that volume is contributed by the ten big banks. Right. So Morgan and and uh, what was the other one? Uh, City were were both <clears throat> instrumental in that. And HSBC got away with it because they again they were the whistleblower. Uh, but so so the um, so it's a ten it's a five trillion dollar a day you know market. 2017 city of of the major players um, had a, a 10.7 percent share. JP Morgan followed closely with a 10.3 percent market share. <clears throat> so on any given day, we can expect city and JP Morgan to trade. Five hundred billion dollars worth of currencies a day, a day. Right. Now they're doing illegal shenanigans, right? That's what it, that's what we just found out. So you see the size of the market: five trillion dollars a day. Right? They're making money hand over fist, right? On every transaction, they make something, right? And what is the fine? One billion dollars. It's 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 a spit in the bucket. It's again the analogy of. If you robbed the bank for a million dollars and got caught and your fine was 10 cents, would you rob another bank? Of course you would because there is no consequence. It's pocket change, right? There's no criminality to any of this, right? And what's the consequence of rigging a, rigging a, a currency market, right? Well, it does. It affects everything. It affects trading, pri it affects price, trading price, uh, the price of goods, right? People could, um, it, it, your, 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 your pay, your dividend in a bank, everything is affected by the, the uh, currency exchange rates, right? Especially, mostly trade, right? I don't know a lot. I'm not that in-depth about it, but I know more about figs than I do the currency market. But I could tell you that it, it has a, 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 you know, a real powerful effect, right? So what you're doing is, if you're rigging the forex market, you're basically, if you're if you're trading to your friend, look, look at some of the the things that they were doing. Um, I can't. Uh, oh, where is it? Maybe it's on this page. Yeah. Um, so the inf the information exchanges enabled the traders to make informed market decisions on whether to sell or buy the currency they had in their portfolios. That's what the commission has said, right? Sometimes they would um, they would get out of the way of the other trader and let him trade, right? So it was they they were rigging basically rigging the market. And what is the consequence? It's there's no there's no criminality whatsoever, right? No criminality. Now look at this guy over here. See this guy, homeless man, free after 13 years in jail for food theft, right? So so the traders are stealing billions of dollars a year, billions of dollars a year out of your pocket, out of people, you know, they're, 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 they're interfering in international trade for their own gain and, and another bank building, another building for a bank goes up, right? And here's a guy who tries to steal some food because he's hungry. Listen to this. <clears throat> this is an old article, 2010. After 13 years behind bar, bars for trying to break into a church kitchen to find something to eat, a man who became an example of the harsh sentences followed by California's three strike law has been ordered released free from prison. Wow. So here's here's the good gentleman with the, you know, the, the dark complexion and the red eyeballs. Huh? He gets he gets twenty got twenty-five years for sneaking into a church to get something to eat. 
a church that he was affiliated with. He just went in there after night, uh, after dark, right? It's not the right thing to do. But it's also not the right thing to do is, is steal billions of dollars in, in Forex trading funds and, 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 and rigging it in a, in a chat room on the Bloomberg, uh, Bloomberg platform. So, so um, what did this guy do, right? So the church pastor, right, the guy, he got caught in the church, just a little bit on the story, testified at the original sentencing, sentencing that Taylor was often given food and allowed to sleep at that church. The priest described him as a peaceful man struggling with homelessness and crack addiction. Taylor was convicted of two, uh, th- three strike burglary due to two robberies convicted convictions in, in 1980. One for stealing a purse containing $10 and another for trying to rob a man on the street. He didn't use a weapon in either case and there was no injuries. So what, what did, what is, what, so, so a guy steals, a, a hungry man on the street steals to eat and he gets sentenced to 25 years in prison, right? But a, 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 a suit and tie protected by billions of dollars and billions of bankers and all the, all the, all the politicians that are paid off rips off billions of dollars a year and gets caught and he gets a slap on the wrist. Just a, the bank pays his bill. Pays the bill. Pays a billion dollars, no problem. Maybe we'll pay, maybe we won't. We'll pay in 10 years, right? Break it down so we can pay. No consequence. That's, I mean, that's, that's, it, it, it's, it's a tragedy when you break it down in that uh, respect. We need, to, we need to, you know, come back to sanity on these laws, right? There has to be the people that cry no regulation. You don't, you don't know what you're talking about, man. They're stealing from you. That's why you have to regulate. You got to break up the banks. You got to break up big tech. I, I heard Bernie Sanders finally came around to breaking up Facebook. Break up the big the big media corporations so we can have free speech. Break up the banks so the, so the currencies and the, the the flow of money then hits the people instead of instead of the hoarding effect where the banks just hoard the money. Right? We need we need we need leadership in that uh, in that area. Marcus Conti reporting kindly. Hit the uh, subscribe button and also uh, become a Patreon or buy some free stickers. Buy some stickers. Not they're not free. Five bucks. Five bucks. Six or five. You get six stickers for five dollars. Marcus Conti reporting.